Hello everyone and welcome to this mission guide for Repair Robot Head, which will also complete the missions Roxy's Weakness and Stop Roxy. To start off, I will show you how to get to Roxy's Raceway from Parts and Services. First, we go up the elevator that leads to Roxy's room. Then we go out of her room and make our way down to the end of Rockstar Row into the place with the blue door go to the very end of this area, and it will lead us to the atrium. Once you're here, you're right next to Roxy's raceway, so you just go up the escalator and bam, there's the door. We go all the way down, because there's going to be a door here, but wait! Don't go in that door! Go right! Go right! There is a very important upgrade in this right door. You see there's a building here, and there's a super important upgrade, as I said, inside this building. It's going to be in the very back of the hair and makeup place. Okay, go inside the bathroom here, and in this present is some running shoes, which will increase your running speed. Now there is also a Princess Quest arcade game, and this is actually the first Princess Quest arcade game. So if you want, you can play it to unlock a special ending. I'm not going to do it right now though, I'm just going to get back into Freddy and make my way back to where we were. Now we can go into the door we came to first, and to make sure to bring Freddy with you. So if you have the Monty's Claws upgrade, then you can go to this gate that has the no Monty symbol on it and break it open. If you decommission Chica, then go up to this gate, and when you get near it, her voice box will activate that yellow speaker on the gate. Now if you ask me, they should have made that speaker face the other way, because there's no real indicator that that is a door for Chica. Anyways, once you get through, you can make your way down the hall into Roxy's Raceway. Be aware, Roxy's gonna be at the bottom of the staircase here, so be very very cautious because she might catch you if you're not paying attention. You can disable her with the fast cam or phaser blaster. Now I'm going to this go-kart here, and the reason I came back here is because there is another important upgrade on top of this staircase here. It's the final fizzy faz upgrade. Now make your way over here because this is where we can find the missing robot head. Now we need to get the dance pass, which is going to be one of these garages, but first, before I get that, go into the end garage here. Here is going to be yet another upgrade that we can receive. It's going to be behind this red door. There is a patrol, so look out. I'm just waiting for it to patrol here. And then the present is going to be under one of these shelves. It's going to be very hidden, but it is important. Okay, I'm gonna grab this present, and it's another Freddy upgrade. It adds one more slot to Freddy's battery here. So you can see that's a lot of battery. Now, once you have that, make your way to the very end of these garages. It'll be the second to last one here. And there's going to be a present on the table that has the dance pass. Now we can make our way to the West Arcade, and I'll show you how to get there. Let's 
stay here. I wish I could join you, but... Okay, once you're in the West Arcade here, you have to make your way all the way up these stairs, straight up to the second floor, although it feels more like a third floor than a second. Not to mention, we are already on the third floor of the Pizzaplex. Man, this place is humongous. Okay, at the very end here will lead us to the office that has the head repair thing. But first, make sure to save your game. Because as soon as we go over there, stuff is going down and you won't be able to save. Now comes the hardest part of this area, which is going down and activating all the switches. Now Chica will be patrolling this top floor, so we have to be cautious of her here. And if you did not decommission Monty, he will be patrolling the first floor. If you did decommission Monty, then this part is a thousand times easier because you only have to deal with Chica. So sorry anyone who chose to decommission Chica. And keep in mind, Monty cannot be blinded by the phaser blaster because he has sunglasses. So you actually have to kind of be stealthy with him. And Monty does this crazy leap to get you. Anyways, make your way back down to the first floor. We have to get to the DJ Music Man stage. And now we have to activate three more switches. The first switch is going to be in the men's bathroom down this hall. Once you enter the bathroom, there is a utility closet on the right side. Just go in and flip the switch. Now the DJ Music Man is going to be trying to grab you, but just go out that right door, you'll be fine, and run past him. The next area we have to go to is right over here, and once again I'll remind you, if you decommission Chica first, Monty will be patrolling this area, so you must be very careful and stealthy with how you approach the switch. But here is the location of the switch, and it does have two hiding spots right next to it if you need to hide from Monty. Here is how I did the switch with Monty, although my method is incredibly risky. Once you flip the switch, it is time to go up to the second floor. Be very careful because Chica is wandering around somewhere. Uh, she saw me, so I'm just going to book it. I don't hear her stomps, so that's why I didn't turn around. And I'm going across this bridge, then down this tight hallway here. And there is the final switch. I guess I should say second to final switch because the final final switch is going to be back in the area we came from. Gotta wait for all these darn robots. Okay, the final switch is going to be in the very back here, in the hallway with all the broken down arcade machines. And as soon as you flip this switch, you need to be ready to run, so make sure you have all your stamina recovered before flipping the switch, because the DJ Music Man is about to chase you down. And the DJ Music Man will start throwing things at you to block your path. However, if you run at maximum speed, this will not bother you at all, and you can just straight line it to the end. If you run slower than I do here, then you might get blocked by the stuff DJ throws at you. 
I'm showing you now he was throwing some things. As soon as you get into the security office, the DJ Music Man will stop following you and you will be able to repair that robot head. Before leaving, make sure to grab this security badge on the counter so you can get a security clearance of 7. And you can grab this lore bag as well, and then save your game. Something else I quickly want to mention before leaving is at the very end of the hallway where DJ chased us is the second Princess Quest arcade machine. So you can go ahead and play that if you want the Princess Quest ending. There's also a cardboard Bonnie that you can take a picture of and is one of the keys to unlocking the Balloon Boy arcade game. Now make your way back to Roxy's Raceway, I'll meet you there. Once you're in Roxy's Raceway, make your way to the go-kart and then save your game and then place the bot head. And now you can gracefully remove Roxy's eyes so you can use them on Freddy. Now I highly recommend saving your game here as well because Roxy's about to jump out at you as soon as you press this button. So stand in front of the door and let Roxy break it for you. You have to move out of the way at the last second. When we get in the next room, there's going to be a concrete hole on the left wall. Go through it and Roxy will break the next wooden door for us. Then we want to lure Roxy to where the concrete hole is and go through it into the next room. After going through the blue door, there's another hole on the left, so make sure to go through it so Roxy enters this final room. Now this last door can be a bit tricky because as you can see here, Roxy's not quite chasing me down, so let me go grab her attention real quick. Come on Roxy, come over here! Okay, there we are, there we go. Come on, I know you can do it. Roxy, come on, jump! Ah uh, yes, there we go. Okay, when she breaks that door, we can run through around the fire, do the distraction, it might help a little bit, and then we want to get to this vent, open it, open it, and then jump in, jump in! And now Roxy cannot get you. Now we have to go to parts and services so we can upgrade Freddy. And I'll show you how to get there just in case you do not know how. Okay, once you're in parts and services, you can save your game once again before doing the upgrade. And huge, huge disclaimer here! Guys, this is the very last chance you have to save, because as soon as you do the upgrade, it's going to be time to run for the exits. And this will either end your game, or you can choose to stay, but if you choose to stay, you can no longer save. So at this point, make sure to do everything you ever wanted to do before you cannot save again. But anyways, I will show you guys how to do all of the endings in the final part of this walkthrough, which will be the next video.
I hope this video has helped you out and thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comment below and as always, good luck out there in your own games and see you next time.